In this video, I just want to quickly show you how you would test downloading of a file from the browser using Selenium in Python. Basically, it opens a browser, clicks, it goes somewhere, clicks a button, it downloads, and how do you simulate that, okay? So I went through this whole thing. I created a video, and the video came up like 15 minutes. It's pretty long. So I just created a new version of it. That's just, I'm not even going to write the code. I'm just going to explain it. But if you want the longer version, and if you want to get a lot more detailed explanation of why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it, a thought process, watch the other video. I'll link it in the description, okay? So this one is going to be just a quick one for those who want, who just, who are really comfortable with Selenium already. They don't care about the details. You just want to see how you test downloads. That's why I created this. The longer, for somebody new, the longer one is really great. So you can understand why I'm doing it this way. Everything I'm doing here is a loop. Why, why I'm doing it, I go deep into, uh, into the details, okay? So it's simple. The way you, you test downloads is when you, by default, when you, when the when the Selenium goes and clicks a button, it's going to download the file somewhere, but you don't know where it got downloaded, right? So the key is before you create the instance, the, the browser instance, you specify where the default uh, location is. That way, if you know where it's going to download, as soon as you click something and something gets downloaded, you know where to go look for it. So in this case, all we did is we create a temporary directory using temp5, Python's temp5, that, that's a standard library. And then, so, so that's the key, create a temporary file and then create an option, uh, a, a, a Chrome, Chrome option, add experimental option, prefs, and you give it this download directory, default download directory, and I pass in the folder I created for the default download directory. Then I know that's where it's going to download the file. Then you got to know what the file name is, or you can just go in that directory and look for uh, any file that gets created there. So in this while loop here, what I'm actually doing is I'm checking if the file that I'm expecting, since I know what the file is supposed to be downloaded as, the, the name of the file, I'm just checking the full path. So this expected path, if you, if you look at it, is the temporary, temporary directory and my file name. The temporary directory and my file name joined together. And I'm just checking if that exists or not. So it's simple, right? That's really all you got to do. Create a temporary file, temporary directory. Then um, create an option, a Chrome option. Just do everything just you normally would. But since you could, you know what the directory is, just check if the file is in that directory. Depending on what your test case is, if you want to actually check the content, then read the file and then compare it and read the original file and then compare it with what you're expecting to be there. Okay, so that's really the quick way. But uh, this is just a short version of this video. I have a longer version of this video that is in the description. All right. That's all.